Good morning, students, parents, teachers, and staff, and welcome to the greatest elementary school in the entire world. Today we have students from Mrs. Hermes' class here to help us with the pledge. They are ready to go, and all they need is your attention. Hi, my name is Colson, and I will be leading you in the pledge to the American flag. Pan students, teachers, and staff, please pause to honor our great nation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, my name is Jacob, I, and I will be leading you in the pledge to the Texas flag. Please face the Texas flag. On the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one indivisible. Hi, my name is Ricardo, and I will be leading you in the moment of silence. Hi, my name is Zoe, and for lunch, the cafeteria will be serving chicken nuggets with mashed potatoes and gravy. Good morning, my name is Armani with your local weather forecast. Today we can expect partly cloudy skies and a high of 80 degrees. Excellent job, students. You did a fine job. I also want to thank Mrs. Hermes for sending us such fine students. We wanted to uh, let you know that our day started off very early this morning with 5th grade choir and also Wood Forest National Bank. And tomorrow, 4th and 5th grade will be having their choir. I also, at this time, want to let you know that in addition to robotics and chess on Friday, NEHS will be meeting. So if you're a member of NEHS, uh, either a current member or the, one that, the ones that were just inducted, you'll be meeting uh, this Friday in EHS at 745. Our attendance yesterday was 96 and 22 hundredths percent, 96 and 22 hundredths percent. That's a little bit below our school goal of 98 percent, so I do want to remind you school is important. We miss you when you're gone, so please make every effort to be here every single day. We want to at this time introduce you to a great friend of Bear Branch Elementary. He's been here many times. This is Mr. Hart. He's uh, our watchdog today. And he's got two beautiful daughters. This is Catherine, and she's in second grade, and then Jackie's in kindergarten. So thank you, Mr. Hart, for taking time out of your busy schedule to come help keep our school safe. So when you see him around school today, make sure you say thank you or give him a high five or a thumbs up. So thank you so much, Mr. Hart, and thanks for donating your time. Um, we want to um, thank everybody for coming out for Chick-fil-A last night. If you came out to Chick-fil-A, we thank you for coming and supporting your school. We want to thank our teachers and uh, paraprofessionals who came out and served. You did an excellent job. This week we have Mighty Training today at 4 and also tomorrow at 7.30. And please sign up in Edgeforia uh, so that Miss Cantu knows how many people to plan for. And this week we're covering whatever she comes up with by this afternoon. So we'll, um, we'll have good training this afternoon. All right, this, uh, this, uh, tomorrow evening, 
the grades are due to be loaded by midnight, so make sure that you load your grades by midnight. That reminds me to remind students that today and early tomorrow might be your last time to double check with your teacher, make sure all your assignments are turned in because report cards will be printed on Friday. Teachers, please proof those and return them to your supervisor so that Mrs. Moore and I can write notes for the kids on those. So our third nine weeks ends this week. I do want to also ask you to remember that sometime this week we might have a fire drill. You know our expectations there. And also an intruder drill uh, will be happening, so teachers make sure you go over those expectations and we'll be doing those sometimes this, sometime this week. We've got three days left, so one of those days we'll do a fire drill. Um, Mr. Campbell will continue Star Talks today with fifth graders and fourth graders talking about individual expectations and our plans for you to give your very best. So um, as I come to your room, please be ready to talk about that. And I look forward to meeting with each and every one of you this week to prepare for this coming week. I want to again want to remind you that we have a rainwater reservoir uh, out by our um, uh, greenhouse. And uh, it's coming together. It, it was uh, black a couple days ago. Now it has some nice uh, pine plankings around it, and they're continuing to work on that. Please be respectful of that area, as um, our junior master gardeners will be using that in the future to water their flower beds and the plants. And so um, please look at it, enjoy it, but also be respectful of it. We look forward to great uh, classes to talk about the uh, square footage of the um, greenhouse roof and the rainwaters that we have collected and so forth and look forward to that. So there may be people working over there, so teachers, if during your recess there are people working, please be respectful of that. We'll try to put up cones to indicate to kids that we need to stay clear of that area. Since next week is April, uh, beginning next Wednesday, we'll be doing our new song and that's What's More American, so if you want to plan to project that on your wall, that will be helpful. Um, spring is here and that's a good time for cleaning so let's make sure that we remember to keep our schools uh, clean because this school belongs to each and every one of us so as you see trash or things that don't belong on the ground please pick them up throw them away and then wash your hands this is especially important by the bathroom area sometimes I'll walk by and there's lots of paper towels I stop and pick those up but if you could help us pick that up pick them all up throw them away wash your hands and then return to class that would be great at this time we're ready for our song deep in the heart of Texas up this morning's announcements I had a question my class wants to know why Mr. Campbell's not wearing a bow tie this might be a good math lesson in perimeter or circumference when the circumference of your shirt says 17 and a half or 18 and the circumference of your neck is greater sometimes this button doesn't go in this hole so therefore that's why I'm not wearing a bow tie Thank you for asking. I believe that concludes this morning's announcements. I hope that you have a wonderfully wise Wednesday. Students, I need your help with two things today. I need you to listen to your teacher and follow his or her instructions. And if you do so, you should have a fantastic day at the greatest elementary school in the entire world. Teachers, it's time to synchronize our watches. Bear Ranch Elementary time is 8.37, 8.37. At Bear Ranch Elementary, we're bringing our A game. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.